So Chris Dennis on the introductions for the final time. Brilliant day so far. We've already had one world record. Will we see another one in the women's five kilometer race? Let's mark your card straight away. The figure to look out for, 14.44 is the world record in a women's only race, Sifan Hassan, set in Monaco in 2019. We have 14 athletes on the start line in bright sunshine here. Your support is greatly appreciated. So let's take you through one or two of the big names in this final race for today, the women's 5K. First of all, from Kenya, she was fourth at the World Championships in 2019 in Doha in the 10,000 meters. From Kenya, Rosemary Wanjiru. Next up, world indoor silver medalist, a finalist at World Championships and the Olympic Games. This is her first race of the season. 25 years old, very familiar figure on the track from Ethiopia, Biratu Dawit Seum. And finally, on the start line, former world silver medalist, a two time Olympic finalist, including sixth place in Tokyo last month. 26 years in old, also from Ethiopia, Simberi Teferi. So the athletes ready to go in our final race today. Remember, we've already had one world record today. We need your support. Can we see a second? The world record marked to beat 14.44. And here to call the race for you for one last time. Uta Pibig, and first of all, Jeff Whiteman. see uh, people gathered on the balcony in that grand building in the background. I think more than a thousand people around the course. It was estimated to be between 500 and a thousand people would be here. I think it could easily be double that. The weather helps. Uh, but also the fact that there are world records in prospect. Have we saved the best till last? Well, there's only one way to find out. We're into the final one minute of countdown for this women's only 5K. The last race in the Adi Zero Road to records race here in Herzogenaurach, Germany at Adidas World HQ. If you're just joining us, it's Jeff Whiteman with Uta Pippig uh, on commentary on the live stream. I hope you're enjoying it wherever you are, whatever time of day it is. Uh, if you have stayed up, you've seen one world record. If you can stay awake, this is the course they're going to run for another possible world record shot. That's where they start. And it is two laps of the axe-shaped course before that final run in to the finish. It's not yet come down to a sprint finish. Road races don't always. It would be quite exciting if we had one, but I think uh, times are the order of the day here. And this was always destined to be one of the best shots at a possible world record. 14.43, outright world record. 14.44, women's world record. Stand by for our last race. We're away, they start their own watches, even though there's a timing clock in front of them, even though they've got chip timing attached to them. 
take it no chances and as Uta has mentioned before that may help them uh, determine their kilometer splits and how the pace is going especially in the second part of the race often when you are in your own zone in your own race maybe in the top three and focus to do maybe a PR so you want to have double check your own watch off they go fast again looking like a track race here yeah it looks like they're sprinting from certain angles doesn't it yeah so the two pacers Mariam Jepin Gatich, uh, she's got number 613 on her back, and Feliciana Jeb Koskai. And I think they'll be tasked with um, around about 256 per kilometre. They'll have to judge that by feel a little bit. At this point in the men's race, they're already strung out in single file, so it suggests that uh, they're, they're running it in quite a controlled way. Yep. And once again, athletes coming at this from a range of distances. Chris was reading out the credentials, including uh, world finalists, sixth in the Olympics in the case of Sembera Teferi in her second Olympic Games. So there is some seriously informed athletes here for this final race. Always the one that people thought might yield the world record, and yet we have one in the bag before this race even got underway. Also in the field is Jasmine Khan from Turkey, and she has a PB of 14.36 from Rome 2017. And she was now eighth in the Olympics in the 5,000 meter, which was a fast race. Yes, yeah, she ran in both finals in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. I've followed her um, progress over the years for Turkey with interest. I think Chan, Jasmine Chan, they pronounce it in mm -hmm. Turkey with a okay. accent, Sedilla under the under the sea but yes yeah, she's a force to be reckoned with and could well feature in this she has uh, on her bib it says Yasemin mm -hmm. 11th in, in the 10,000 in Tokyo so we'll be looking to see if we if we get a first kilometer split hopefully it will be somewhere between 250 and three minutes just to keep alive that uh, world record possibility they're well spread out you can see six across so using the full width of the road here on this slight uphill. They'll only take this once more and then they will be on to the uh, run into the finish next time around. And the gaps are now starting to open up. We're getting a field of uh, a little group of the two pacemakers plus six others. Uh, they're just starting to nudge clear on this section of the course through three minutes. So hopefully we've passed the one kilometer point. We'll get a formal split at two kilometers, hopefully under six minutes. Mm -hmm. It looks fast. Well, the predictions are coming in around 1446, 1439. And like Kuan, well, Kuan Walker has been on the money on one of the previous predictions. So he's saying new world record. 257 for that opening kilometer. So we are on schedule for a world record. But the group is just starting to fragment a little bit at a relatively early stage. I think the uh, the bigger names have managed to cover that break. So the athletes that were introduced on the start line are no further back than sixth place there. And I don't see any pacemakers left. So I think uh, we can see Semberi at the front, yep. who was sixth in that Olympic final in the pink singlet closest to the camera. She's the athlete you would have to say is in form. Sixth in an Olympic Absolutely, final. Absolutely, yeah. and weeks. then also Personal best, 14.15, that's a good number. Yeah. That's very fast. And is she going for this? It I looks like she is. I think she's just already moving. Yeah. So confident enough in her own ability to Controlled. take on this field. Controlled. Relaxed. Relaxed. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> I know you all will be teasing me, but it's the key, I tell you. So I think she'll have an eye on... Well, the world records are only a second apart, so if you're going to run 14.44 for a women's world record, surely 14.43 for an outright world record in a mixed race is uh, also a possibility. And she's, this is a surprise inside the second kilometre that she's decided mm -hmm. to take this on. She's got absolutely expressionless on her face. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but, but look at what, what she's done in the last couple of minutes of running to blast apart this field. She is the fastest in the field by paper. And if you are, you know, typically if you are the leader already on paper and you don't, you don't want to mess around, you just go and on top of it, obviously, when you feel good. You just go. Well, the opportunities for her, I suppose, are limited because she is an out-and-out -out track runner. Uh, she might not be tempted to do a road 5K in the spring because it's too close to the track season. Here's one presented to her on a plate by her sponsors three weeks after a great Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. so you, you know, you've, she's you've, still in top form. Yeah, yeah. And you can see that now, can't mm -hmm. you? I mean, she's absolutely on it. So let's look, see if she was under six minutes at two kilometres. You, the, the effort that she's put in and the damage that she's done to the other athletes would suggest that probably she was. 5.46, wow. Well inside world record pace at the moment and approaching the halfway mark, looking in control and running away with this one at the moment. Teferi. It's still relatively early, of course, for the 5K. Yes. But... But look at her. She looks strong, yeah. I, I think you'd have her down as one of the favourites, but you wouldn't necessarily have expected her to open up in the first four or five minutes of racing like this. This is spectacular. We're on schedule for the fastest women's 5K ever seen. It's early days. We still have eight minutes of running left, but if you're doing something else, put it down and watch this, because this is great running. That gap has suddenly opened up to about six seconds there, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. Good contest going on behind her. That may help them uh, close the gap a little bit later on. But she's another one of these who's not looking back, not interested in what's going on behind her. Takes the bell. So already into the second half of this race and way inside world record schedule. Let's see what the... Will we get a halfway split? I guess we won't because it's two and a half kilometers. The bell isn't uh, indicative because there is still that finishing straight to take on on the second lap. But this is strong running. It's still at the time of the race where you should feel relatively, you know, strong. Yeah. You still can dig really deep here in this, in the middle part. Still, you know, manage your energy levels as good as possible. Not wasting all yet because the last one and a half K could be really crucial if yeah. you overstep now in your efforts. Well, she nearly overstepped that curb there, didn't she? I don't <laughs> Just think she slightly. quite saw the drop yeah, uh, the other side of that. She didn't probably see it also. So our, our friends on the comments box on the YouTube page are furiously revising their schedules down to, <laughs> their predictions down to 14.30, 14.32. Anything's possible. We're into the last six minutes of racing. And she is absolutely running away with this one. The double Olympic finalist, Teferi Semberi, Semberi Teferi. First name is on the singlet. Roughly eight seconds ahead. And she takes a look back. That's the first time she's had a glimpse. I don't think that uh, betrays any particular anxiety because she still looks very, very comfortable, doesn't she? That high arm action just across the front of her chin. No, it goes a little bit now uphill, kind of. I mean, slightly, the slope, we're all, what we always say. Well, you would expect this, this kilometre to be slightly slower. It would drift back towards 15-minute mm -hmm. pace. But she's got a good buffer from that previous time. Mm -hmm. So nine minutes completed, five and a half minutes maybe to run. They're gathering behind her, but that is, as you say, Uta, a significant gap that I she has. I would say 10, 11 seconds by now. Yeah. Just counted as good as I could from the angle. So the women's 10K produced a world record and the women's 5K at this uh, Adi Zero Road to Records is living up to its billing. The final event of the day, the showstopper, the one everybody thought could yield a world record. Did they have this woman in mind? I'm not sure, but she's running it the hard way. And if she gets the world record, it will be a really strong piece of running. We're coming up to 10 minutes, coming up to the two thirds distance. This is the battle for silver going on behind her. Those are all of the other big names in there. 607 is Ngisti of Ethiopia. But they have a long range view of the leader. 
and the possible new world record holder. We've moved beyond 10 minutes now. It's tough to run this alone up here, especially after 10 minutes. Crucial, the next two or three minutes is really hard to battle through alone in the speed in front. But she's, she's managing. Yeah, it was the, it was the Olympic 10,000 final that she took sixth place in, so she'll not be short of stamina as she has a look back. It, if anything, the, the predictions against her might have been a lack of speed mm -hmm. or something like that compared to her opponents. Well, she hasn't let it come down to closing speed. Coming up to 11 minutes, just a reminder, the women's world record is 14.44. The outright world record from a mixed race is 14.43. And it's a Sifan Hassan world record that she's going for and is still on schedule. OK, we're going to ride with the motorbike and see what that gap looks like. So here we go. This is fifth, fourth, third and second. And now off the turn, we accelerate. We think it's 15 seconds. Is it a winning margin? Here goes the motorbike in fourth gear. Oh, yes. That's a big margin. She is really on this, isn't she? With her own outrider and lead uh, camera there. And we are 11 and a half minutes in. Hopefully only three minutes of racing left. Hopefully another world record, the second of the day at this uh, Road to Records Addy Zero meeting. She is going for it. She's going for the win for sure. If not anything miraculous happens the last three minutes. Well, she's going away, 11.37. Let's have a look at that, that's uh, 4K. Well, it's still on schedule for something in the 1430s. She's got a nice downhill uh, benefit here. She will also know that the finish line is in sight. She's having a look back. Fantastic. Yeah, I, could she even break 14.30? We'll have to wait and see, see what sort of a flourish she can uh, muster at the finish. But those are world-class athletes, and the heat haze is between her and them. She is so far clear. She looks good. Looks brilliant. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Two minutes really of nice. running left. Come on. 14.43, absolute world record. The Hassan <laughs> women's only world record, 14.44. And we know this loop. We know how much running there is left. To go. She's feeling this a little bit now. <laughs> That's exciting. Coming up to 13 minutes, a minute and three quarters to break the world record. People are saying 14.47, 14.31. It could be quicker than that. Look in her face. It's starting to hurt. She's a 10,000 Olympic top six. Finish it, finish it, finish it. That's second, third and fourth. A minute and a half to break the world record. A Sifan Hassan, women's only world record. I think she's going to smash it. I think she's taking women's 5,000 meter racing into a new territory here. She looks fantastic. Come on. All about the effort now. Oh, is she talking to herself? Urging herself on. Oh, she's digging deep. She's hurting, yes, but... I think soon it will feel good. So the turn is coming. She's can, she can do it. So less than a minute to break the world record. This is the sweep. Go, then go, the go, turn go, go. into the finishing straight. 14 minutes now, 44 seconds to break the world record. And here she goes in the final stretch. She is going to absolutely annihilate the world record. She is going under 1430. Fantastic. It's been one of the great runs of all time. The final race of the day is going to be a massive new world record and it is going to Semberi Teferi of Ethiopia. What's she going to run? Previous world record, 1444. She's going under 1430. And we round out the racing with a second world record at the Adi Zero road to records this is second place and Melkanat is going to be very close to the old world record in second place as well what astonishing racing wow that was a Sifan Hassan world record and she blew it out of the park oh. Oh. well she's entitled to have a little breather down there because she pushed herself so hard 
under 14.30, not just inside the old record of 14.44. We'll wait for the official time. Great depth, look at this, almost all the field in and we're still not on 15.20. Absolute world-class racing. Ethiopia one and two. I think the uh, previous finish was just outside the old world record, but if you've joined us on the live stream, hope you enjoyed that. The second world record, the second women's world record, the second Adi Zero Road to Records world record. What a day. Fantastic. So well deserved. Fantastic, courageous run by her. It looked, it looked elegant to me. I think she's yeah. feeling it now, isn't yeah. she? Yeah, I mean, she's overwhelmed. Nixty, I think, uh, took third place, so I think it was an Ethiopian clean sweep of the podium places. What a long year of races with the Olympics. What, what do you think is more prestigious? A world record on the road or sixth place in an Olympic track final? Oh, that's no comparison, I think. It's for sure, the, for sure. You have to compare it with the first in the Olympics. You know, in the first, I mean, in the better, world record. Better than sixth in the Olympics, a world Absolutely. record. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. No question about that. I mean, in my opi yeah. humble opinion. <laughs> well, the fastest woman of all time. I mean, that's uh, yeah. by a big margin. There is no, no question about no, it. No. it. What would you say? If, well, first in the Olympics or for world record? Yeah, yeah. What would you choose? Do you know? Well, here it is. She's, yeah. she's got something to remember this year by, and that will be a really, really tough record in the future. That will be hard to beat, pacemakers or not. Yeah. Conditions are perfect. The course has been brilliant. That's the drone going across the top that's been mm -hmm. giving us uh, some of those shots. We'll have a presentation of awards, and hopefully Chris will be able to get an interview with the new world record holder. I know English won't be her first language, but uh, we can get some sense of uh, how she feels and how hard that was as well, because she mm -hmm. really dug deep in the last kilometer, didn't she? Yeah. You could see it in her face. 1429. 1429 so confirmed. Under, yeah. Oh, suddenly she's recovered. She is so <laughs> happy. <Ooh. laughs> Fantastic. Now she's celebrating. And somebody's put, I will stick with my 1508 prediction. Ah. Well, I hope those of you that were able to enter the competition uh, for the prediction did predict 1428. I suspect not everybody will have done. If you did and you got into the competition, well, good luck in the draw for uh, those Adi Zero Pro 2 shoes.